acting as health minister, Mutahi Kagwe, has officially opened 30 renovated state-of-the-art laboratories at the Kenya Medical Research Institute here in Nairobi. Their upgrading was funded through a partnership with the United States. The facility seeks to boost the Medical Research Institute's capacity to deal with emerging diseases, including COVID-19. Here is CGTN's Wilkista Nyabwa with that story. A group of scientists put their heads together, sharing information and knowledge. They are working at the Kenya Medical Research Institute, the government's research arm. And this is one of 30 newly renovated biomedical laboratories that have been commissioned at the Central Laboratory Complex in Nairobi. These particular scientists are involved in stem cell research. Stem cells are, their cells are driving the body and they are used to repair our systems, our, our cells, our organs, um, especially during injuries and uh, in disease conditions. In disease conditions, we are talking about um, uh, cancers, we're also talking about diabetes, where we may require regeneration of the organs. And um, also one of the very important applications is on the skin, resulting from burns, okay, or from injuries. This collaborative project will go a long way towards strengthening the national laboratory capacity in research on emerging and re-emerging diseases across the region. The renovations and upgrades were done through a joint project between the governments of Kenya and the United States of America. The project focuses on biological engagement programs which aim to reduce the threat from naturally occurring diseases or unintentional release of biological pathogens. The buildings and machines that have been installed here will prevent such a problem, for example, the spread of COVID-19 and the virus ending up harming people. It's very important work. We didn't have this capacity before. The project was commissioned in the midst of the global fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. The immediate impact of the improved facilities has already been felt during this global pandemic through improved sample collection, processing and storage. Some of the work that we'll be able to do in uh, our facilities with the equipment that we have acquired is sequencing of the COVID virus to be able to understand uh, more uh, the genomics or the genetic composition of the, of the, of the virus so that we're able to develop tools that are really uh, relevant and applicable for our particular uh, setting. The new facilities will also assist those working in the fields of stem cell and regenerative medicine as well as HIV, AIDS and malaria. As the continent boosts its scientific capacity to tackle diseases, the new laboratories are expected to play an important role in the control and management of emerging infections. Wilkes Anyabwa, CGTN.